Hey guys, so you probably clicked on this video today because you're trying to get your DKD display going and the miles per hour is like way off or you're in kilometers or something of that nature. So I'm going to really try to go through everything to truly dial that in for your specific bike because there is some specific things dealing with your sprocket gear ratio, your, uh, your back wheel size and all that stuff. So. We'll go ahead and jump into that. We'll get into some of the first settings. If you guys want to skip along, we should have this chaptered up so you can kind of go through to what you need in the bottom if you don't need everything. And we'll get into the wheel sizes. So let's get into it. All right, so for our far driver actual settings within the app, we'll go ahead and we'll go to our far driver app. We'll do our cancel. We're gonna open in pro. All right, so we're connected. We're in the app. We can see we're all our settings we set in there so we're gonna come down and look at for display so for display we want to go ahead and look at mainly down at the bottom here we have like the last five things basically I think so we're gonna to want to go ahead and change all of our wheel width our wheel ratio our wheel IR and the gear ratio all right so here we can see I just have in our wheel width is 100 which we can see is our first number on the wheel is 100 and then 80 and then 10 so so we can see those numbers are right there and those numbers are going to correspond with like how wide the wheel is how much it is from rubber to the rim on the outside and then how big your rim is is that last number so um we got to make sure those are in right as long as well as our gear ratio in here which we actually changed and we also want to make sure that our speed pulses is set to three up there too so and we're going to go ahead and save all that all right so with that saved we should be set up to actually have that ready on this and if we have our dkd set up with all the right settings it should be pretty on so let's check it out all right, so looking at this display, we can kind of see here, um, we have this up and going. Now we do have the plug and play stuff from EMF to make this just plug and play into a far driver with adapter harnesses into our EMF harness, or we have a harness from the base, basically we're working on. So anyway, um, we have this up and running. So we wanna make sure we also put in our AH in the far driver app for our battery to know how full it is. So we'll get with those settings and then we'll also Sometimes you have to calibrate your voltage with this actually. So we'll get we'll get in that as well. First, we're gonna have two buttons on the back, left and a right. So we'll refer to the left and the right. We're gonna hold our left, and that's gonna get us into the settings. Basically, you're gonna see this screen come up and say CC, and we'll see these. Now, if we don't keep pressing the move button on the right hand side, it's gonna go back to the main screen. You're gonna miss it. So our first one we want to get into is going to be one, five, three. So we're going to move the one on the right, get that to a one, hit this over to move us over, push this up until we get to a five, move over and then get to a three. That gets us into this number here. I'm going to keep doing this so we don't lose it. This number is going to be, if you mark out on the ground where your wheel starts and then mark on the ground where the wheel mark is as well, and then roll your wheel until you see that line hit parallel to the ground again. And then mark that line on the ground, measure it with a tape measure, ask Google what that is in millimeters. We had like four feet and a half inch, so 48 and a half inches is 1232 millimeters. So we put that in right here. Now, if we let off of that, we're gonna get into our next settings. It moves us over to now this number is gonna be our important one. This one I've just left and everyone says to leave. So this one is gonna be your pull pairs times your gear ratio. So pull pairs is magnets in a motor and then we count them in pairs. So if there's six magnets or um, six poles, there's um, three pairs. So for my 1020 motor, like your Vivor, the ENC Plus, the Cunray, 3000 or 2000, any of those motors are gonna be a three. Um, the KR5V, which is what's in this bike right now, is gonna be a five, because it's a 10 pull motor. The FW11 should be a four. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think the EC4P is a four, because it's an eight pull motor. So when we talk about gear ratios, again, this is just going through, taking our rear sprocket that's on our wheel, and dividing it by the number of 
teeth on our front. So I'm talking the teeth on your rear wheel divided by the teeth on your front sprocket on your motor. And that's gonna give you a gear ratio. So Razor stock, like I said, is right around a 7.2. Um, and that's gonna give you more of a torque gear, easier on your motor. Um, gear ratio, I recommend that for a lot of my 1020s, um, somewhere in that 7.2. Um, maybe a little bit lower than that. If you're looking for a little more top speed, you can gain a few um, miles per hour and not lose as much torque by just adding a tooth or maybe two to your front sprocket um, and it's obviously easier to purchase so um, now if we go lower and we start seeing like closer to a 5.0 gear ratio that's where we're gonna see less torque and more of a top speed so it's gonna take less um, you're going to get to your top speed in less time, but you'll have a higher top speed. It's going to take longer to get up. So those gear ratios closer to the five, I recommend for something like an FW11, maybe the KR5V, probably some of the ENC, EC4P, whatever he's got going on, higher output motors. Um, so we can gain higher top speeds and those motors, motors will still put out good torque. Um, low end, even though the gear ratio is not for the torque, it might be too torquey with a higher gear ratio, for say. So, um, we'll get into that more if you guys want to. So, let me know down below if that makes sense, or there's other videos out there to go go through that. So, we'll take that times our gear ratio we went over up here, and then we'll put in the closest number that it lets us get to in here once we have that. So, that's how we get this number, and then we let off of here and it's gonna go back to our main screen. So we're back at our main screen. Those numbers actually spot on, seem to work for me. We'll go for a ride and let you guys see in a minute here. We'll go take a cruise. You guys can actually watch the display and uh, check it out. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if it helps. The RSF wheels with the stock RSF tires is, uh, like I say, that it's 1,232 millimeters so that was that first number we put in if you're in kilometers per hour you're going to want to get into the screen again and you're basically just going to punch in a password so we'll get into here we're going to punch in 974 so we'll get in nine and i'll just do it twice since i'm already in it seven four so now we're in kilometers an hour so to get back out of kilometers an hour um, we're going to, you know, do that same thing. We'll go back and do 974. Okay, we're back in miles per hour. So you get how that works. Um, we can reset our odometer miles per hour, but you only can three times per DKD. So use wisely, right? Um, to fix your voltage calibration, if it seems like your voltage is wrong or something like that, yeah, the password is going to be 879, and then, you know, that pretty much sums it up. I think if this is in times 5, you can change it to times 10. This is going to be your amp bar, so that when we see that 10, that means we're pulling 100 amps, cracking on that throttle. So, guys, let's go for a little ride. Hopefully, you guys can see this. I have it tilted down for you. Again, we have the mount for the DKD also on our website, if you're wondering how it's mounted, from one of our 3D print guys, Marcos. So uh, I'm going to turn my EMF 12 volt system on here. We can see that little light comes on. We got our headlight beam wired in again on the plug and play set for the EMF stuff. So we uh, are good to go. We also have our ride or die brakes on here with the working brake light. Pretty snazzy. But we'll go rip around here real quick so you guys can see. And uh, we'll actually put this other speedometer on this is just a gps one sometimes this thing's a little laggy but so you can see the comparison so we'll see it takes a minute to catch out this thing knows directly what it thinks it's doing um so we can see like right at seven miles an hour it's reading right at that six and seven pretty on so um pretty stoked with that actually now downhill when i let off the throttle it's going to drop to zero on there because the motor's not spinning and we have no uh freewheel welded yet Alright, so we're reading right around 21 or 22 right there, 20, 
19. They really seem like they're reading pretty close to me. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So we do have a totally different sprocket set up on here. And we did the numbers just like we went over also. And um, looks like it's about spot on again. So I'm gonna say this uh, tutorial video should be the most successful one I've seen so far. This thing, I mean, I don't know how far it's on. I've tested next to a few things, but seems pretty on. Let's see if we can get so you guys can see good. All right, and if these numbers are off a little bit, if you're doing your own testing and you think this is a little high or low, that first big millimeter number we talked about, um, just go up and down with it a little bit and that should help you dial it in. So this is sitting pretty on right there. We're just in second here. So I don't know if you guys can see, we're about spot on up there on the dashes. We're seeing 25 and 25, 24.9. So, um, this is like a 6.0 gear ratio. I think I have a 54 in the rear with a um, an 11 up front. Or no, a nine up front, I'm sorry. So that's giving us a 6.0 gear ratio. But yeah, pretty much spot on. So I think that's, uh, that's a winner, guys. But yeah, she's, uh, she's wheeling pretty good. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Now again, we do have a lot of this stuff plug and play for this far driver to the DKD from EMF now. This is running on two separate systems when we see the lights and the blinkers working. So we can go through that in another video if you want to wire yourself. Otherwise we are having the wire harnesses we're selling right now. So hit me up if you guys think that's an interesting option. So we can uh, kind of have that system going on both. and make it feel more like a real bike pretty cool i think it fits this rsf build really well we did have it on the bomb moto b1 but uh this is gonna look pretty sweet once we're done all right i hope that helped everybody out so as always be safe out there and ride safe guys peace